today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to get Pharma, Vader, and Texture Pack 4 in your auto. I also have a preset already made by somebody else. Everything will be in the description, of course. I used this guide right here. This is the Texture Pack and this preset for the reshader. So, let's get started. First off, oh, we're going to go on to this page right here. Go to prerequisites. Click this link right here. That's gonna give you this. We're gonna start it. Click special K, go to far, stall. Yes. Finish. Close that. We're gonna go into properties for in your automata. Look files, browse. Close that, go down here. You have way more new files now. Go ahead and make a new folder. I'm going to name it reshade. Open this folder right here, which is. I got it from here. Reshade custom. Download this link right here. I extracted everything, of course. Double click here. Get the shaders and textures. Drag them and drop. This is the retexture right here that I got from here. Open that, make sure you get far res, drop it in here, and that's done. Now the preset, drag and drop of course, rename it something, you know, shorter. I'll name it near effects for now. And that's about it. Oh, also if you want 144 hertz or, you know, higher refresh rate in general, you're going to go into your dim pit 8 any, edit with notepad, go in here, control F. Refresh. Now refresh rate right here. Take that off. I'm gonna do 144 since that's my refresh rate. Save, exit, and you're done actually with that. Go into Steam, launch near. We're gonna be launching the game twice. The second time is gonna be the finished product, I guess you could say. All right, as you see, it's working. We have to let it sit through though, of course. I'm just gonna do like a little reset in a second here. So I'm not gonna open the menu up yet. All right, there we go. So open up the menu, you do control shift backspace. There you go, agree. Now, to enable reshade, you're going to have to go right here, where it says reshade, just look for it, click it, click reshade custom. I've never gotten plugin to work, so click that and make sure it says early, and go ahead and exit the game again. Now, go ahead and launch the game. There we go. You should know it's working when it says, oh, of course, Steam blocks it. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it says loading effects. There we go. Loading 30 effects remaining. And we're good. Of course, it's going to do another reset right here in a second. Let that go through. And it's going to be loading in again. You can take off some effects that you don't use, so uh, it doesn't take as long. As you see, it says errors, you know, filing. I have no clue, never had a problem with it, so I just leave it be. Now, in order to open up your reshaders, you do Shift F2, and now you have your little menu. So let's go in game real quick so I can show it off, actually. The retexture should be just automatic. It's good. And we're in. Now let's enable those reshaders. 
So shift F2 of course. You're gonna click this. We already put our preset in, so just click it and boom, you're good. And that's it. There you go. Now you have reshaders, textures, and farm mod installed. Uh, I don't know what else to say really. Oh, here you go actually. So let me show you how to take off my, my cursor. Get that problem as well. Go to input management. Mouse cursor, hide when not moved. And I'll show you frame rate. Remove 60 FPS cap. That's right there. 60 FPS, of course. So, that's about it. Hope it works for you guys. If you have any problems, go ahead and put in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Go ahead and leave a comment below, like, or whatever. And I'll see you guys later.